My name is Connor Fitzgerald. I am a fixed income portfolio manager at Wellington Management. Meet the manager, take one. I've been looking at corporate bonds now since I was a junior in college, so going on 20 years. And I just really believe to be able to sustain focus on something for that long, you really have to be passionate about it, passionate about the subject, want to continuously learn, get better. Uh, that's definitely the way I, I feel about credit investing. I am from the Boston area. I live in my hometown that I grew up in, which is about 10, 15 miles south of here. There's something about the water that's special. And when I was a kid, I sailed seven days a week. I think the thing that I really enjoyed about sailing was just the intense level of focus that was required and how precise you had to be. If you're off by one degree over one leg of a race, you know, you can end up in a very different spot than somebody who's got the correct degree. The weather and the wind are constantly evolving. I think that's a pretty applicable analogy to markets. And when, you know, the wind and the weather change, you need to change your strategy. And I think one thing that I try to carry into investing is that when the facts change and the prices change, you have to be flexible and be willing to change course. The math matters for fixed income and for bonds, I think more so than maybe some other asset classes. I'm sort of more of a, a mathematical brain, if you will. I think if you have the best analysis you can possibly put together with the right math, I think it gives you a good chance to be in a position to make the best possible decision. It's not to say you're not gonna be wrong, but if you can be on the right side of the odds more often than you're not, I think that's what leads to good outcomes over time. I really like the intersection of both math, but also psychology and investor behavior that we see, I think, which is particularly unique in credit markets. So I really use the math and the analysis and the fundamental credit research of Wellington to try to like take the emotion out of the investor psychology swings that we see in markets all the time to try to make the best possible decision we can for clients. There's no one path to a successful outcome. There's infinitely many paths to a successful outcome. So you can have a situation where, you know, you choose to sail at a different angle, but go faster, or you can take a more aggressive angle and go slower. Both of those approaches could lead to the same outcome. And I think that's very similar to markets where, you know, you have to pick a path that works for you, that resonates with you and stick with it. But ultimately it's about the end result and where you're trying to get to and just figuring out the best way for you to get there. That's, that's most, I think, authentic and unique to how you, you approach the markets in the world. Connor, that was great. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me in. Really appreciate it.